downtown services. As you know, we've been working with the Ritter Center specifically over the past uh, about two years on how to deconcentrate some of the services that are in our downtown. Uh, we've moved the mail, uh, we've been working on showers and, and health services, but really to tag team tonight's presentation, uh, the real game changer for us was back in the fall, um, Linda Tavasi took over as CEO at the Ritter Center. Uh, formerly she was with Marine Community Clinics, and Linda is actually here tonight to give an update on what Ritter's been doing uh, in terms of all of their work. to doing it with you. So, so far so good. In four months, we've been able to relocate half of the staff, but not the clients, from Ritter. Um, as you can imagine, it's not an easy task to find space. It's not an easy task to find space where people might be uh, receptive to the clients who, as Andrew described, often have secondary problems. I do not give on the street. One of the major problem areas is obviously along 3rd Street. And when it's, it's a little bit frustrating going through this list of all these accomplishments that we've been making, but for a lot of people, that's their singular interaction with this issue. Uh, and so that's one of the biggest you know, questions that I get is what can we do about panhandling, especially along that corridor? So this month, these signs are gonna be going up. And really the idea is to redirect people to the city website where they can learn more about what we're doing. They can learn about the local partners. And I really felt strongly that getting the, the local organizations to put their logo on as an endorsement alongside ours would be a huge way of really telling the community it's okay to say no, there really are more productive ways to support the, the people that are experiencing homelessness in our community. 